Well, Rob, after a great five points in France last week, it doesn't get any easier. They're here again. <laughs> no, that's right. And I th it's always interesting the back-to-back -back fixtures because, in some ways, you know, the, the mental challenge is a little tougher for us. Um, we got five points over in France, which was a fantastic result for us. And now we've got to make sure we don't do anything, take any kind of thing for, for granted, and, and not perform with, with a great deal of physical energy because that, that's what ultimately won us the game last week. Uh, we kept our energy levels high, kept the tempo of the game high. Um, we felt that if we did that, we'd come strong in the last kind of quarter of the game. That happened to, to pan out, so uh, the key is to turn up here, prepared to work very, very hard against a team that are obviously going to come here uh, and fight for, for everything they can with, with a great deal of pride. You know, I, I know the kind of performances we put in in the um, Amling Cup when we first got in the Premiership, and it was because our players wanted to prove that it all meant an awful lot to them. Now, La Rochelle are in a similar position, and I've no doubt the team they bring here will want to show the same qualities, that it's very important for them to be involved with a top-flight club, um, and they want to come over here and, and do themselves justice in England. Lots the players talked about the physicality they brought last mm. week. It was a, n a notch up from Premiership. They were saying. Well, yeah, I mean, I think, and, and I think in different in different degrees. You know, I think probably tempo wise, it was. Uh, because we took good tempo to it, they probably sh the French team probably struggled with that, but they're probably waiting the scrum and at Moors and in some of the individual collisions and, and stuff on the floor was probably greater. And, and that's the difference, that's the difference between the English and French games. So we're aware there's going to be a physical challenge, we're aware we're going to have to work extremely hard, but that's what being in, in the Premiership's about, that you're involved in top competitions. You know, we, want to, we want to show that this is very important to us, we've got a group of players who are keen and raring to go. Um, some of them are desperate for rugby, um, some of them just uh, are just looking forward to getting out there and playing at Sandy Park again. So um, we're expecting the squad we've picked and the team we've picked uh, to do a, a good job for us at the weekend because it's important for us because we need to keep ourselves top of the group. As you say, top of the group, but uh, another win this weekend will put you in a real commanding position to go into those last two games. Yeah, and I think that's what you've got to do. You know, we, we talk a lot about trying to keep all the competitions alive for as long as possible. At the moment, we're alive in all of them. You know, the, the Premiership, the LV, you know, the, the Challenge Cup, but, you know, but also the A-League as well. You know, we've got a couple of important A-League games coming up. So, you know, the squad are going to be involved in some important games in the next uh, three or four weeks. That's great for us. You know, that's, that's what you want to see. That's what, the games you want to be involved in. Um, for me, it's just it's just going to be great to see how all the players respond to to being involved in important games. As a coach, you must be relishing it at the moment. You've got players that are all, mm. like you say, wanting to play. They're all playing really well as yes. well when they get their opportunity. That's right, and I think that's what's important. I think there's a noticeable uh, quality about us this year, with with a lot of players looking comfortable, a lot of players being up to speed, um, and there's there's a there's a good bit of competition in a in a very positive way amongst the squad that they're dealing with very positively. We've got to try and keep that fostered and that energy level high for as long as possible. We've done that quite well by, by using a lot of players, but they all deserve to play because they're training with quality and they're playing with quality. And that, that's what we want to try and maintain for as long as we can. And obviously to take into next week a big game for sale, it's a, it's a crucial premiership block again following. Oh, well, I mean, now that, now that the season's gone as well for us as it has, that every premiership game becomes a bigger game. You know, every one we win makes the next one bigger, doesn't it? Because there seems to be so much more at stake now, you know, that um, ev every game seems, will, will feel like it's driving us into that top four and keeping us there, or it'll feel like we're letting it slip through our fingers a little bit. So when you there you want to fight and fight and fight to stay there and, and again that will be an interesting situation for us you know we're in the top four now a good a good way through the league how hard are we prepared to fight to stay there and as I said the next four weeks in the premiership will will show a lot of that because they're going to be tough games.